Jean-Charles Picagru was a distinguished French general of the Revolutionary Wars. Under his command, French troops overran Belgium and the Netherlands before fighting on the Rhine front. His subsequent involvement in a royalist conspiracy to remove Napoleon from power led to his arrest and death. Despite his defection, his surname is one of the names inscribed under the Arc de Triomphe. On column 3, Early Life and Career Born at Arbois, he was the son of a peasant. The friars of Arbois were entrusted with his education, and sent him to the military school of Brienne-le-Château. He taught mathematics at the Royal Military School Brienne-le-Château. Among his pupils was a young Napoleon Bonaparte. In 1783 he entered the 1st Regiment of Artillery, where he rapidly rose to the rank of adjutant second lieutenant and briefly served in the American Revolutionary War. When the revolution erupted in 1789, he became leader of the Jacobin Club in Bissankin, and, when a regiment of volunteers of the Department of the Guard marched through the city, he was elected Lieutenant Colonel. Rheinfront. The fine condition of his regiment was noticed in the French Revolutionary Army section of the Rhine, and his organizing ability got him appointed in the headquarters, and then promoted General de Brigade. In 1793 Lazare Carnot and Louis de Saint-Just were sent to find Rotorier generals who could prove successful. Carnot discovered Jean-Baptiste Jourdain, and Saint-Just discovered Louis Lazare Hoche and Picagru. At first Picagru was appointed General of Division and Commander of the Division of the Upper Rhine, appointed Commander-in-Chief of the Army of the Rhine. Picagru attacked the coalition army of de Gobert Sigmund von Worms are in the Battle of Hagnor. Over a period of weeks the coalition forces were driven back step by step in bitter fighting. The intervention of the Army of the Moselle under Hoche at the Battle of Frochevilla in late December finally caused Worms to abandon Alsace. For the Second Battle of Wissenberg, Picagru was placed under the command of Hoche, who proved to be a difficult superior. Nevertheless, the French again won the battle compelling Wormser to retreat to the east bank of the Rhine and the Prussian army to withdraw toward Mainz. Northern Front In December 1793 Hoche was arrested, probably owing to his colleagues' denunciations, and Picagru became commander-in-chief of the Army of the Rhine and Moselle. He was summoned to succeed Jordan in the Army of the North in February 1794, subsequently fighting three major campaigns of one year. The forces of the Kingdom of Great Britain, the Dutch Republic and Habsburg Austria held a strong position along the Samba to the North Sea. After attempting to break the Austrian centre, Picagru suddenly turned their right and defeated the Count of Clare fate at Castle, Menon and Courtrai, while his subordinate Joseph Suham defeated Prince Josias of Coburg in the Battle of Torcoing in May 1794. After a lull, during which Picagru feigned a siege of Ypres, he again attacked Clerfait and defeated him at Rousselara and Hugelda, while Jordan, commanding the newly named Army of the Samba and Meuse, withstood Austrian attacks in the Battle of Fleurus, which eventually led to Allied evacuation of the Low Countries. Picagru began his second campaign by crossing the Meuse on 18 October and, after taking Nijmegen, drove the Austrians beyond the Rhine. The Anglo-Hanoverian army withdrew behind the Vaal. Then, while Picagru's troops prepared to go into winter quarters, the convention ordered the Army du Nord to mount a winter campaign. On 27 December two brigades crossed the Meuse on the ice and stormed the Bommelewaard. On 10 January Picagru's army crossed the ice of the Val between Saltbommel and Nijmegen, entered Utrecht on 13 January, which surrendered on 16. The Anglo-Hanoverian army retreated behind the ice all and then withdrew to Hanover and Bremen. Picagru, who had successfully penetrated the frozen Dutch waterline arrived in Amsterdam on 20 January, after a velvet revolution had taken place. The French occupied the rest of the Dutch Republic in the next month.
This major victory was marked by unique episodes, such as the capture of the Dutch fleet at Den Helder by French hussars, and exceptional discipline of the French battalions in Amsterdam, who, although faced with the opportunity of plundering the richest city in Europe, showed self-restraint. Thermidor in directory, although a former associate of St. Just, Picagru offered his services to the Thermidorian reaction, and, after having received the title of Sauveur de la Patrie from the National Convention, subdued the sans culottes of Paris. When they rose in insurrection against the Convention on 12 Germinal, Picagru then took command of the armies of the North, the Samba and Meuse, and the Rhine, and, crossing the Rhine in force, took Mannheim in May 1795. Although he had become a hero of the Revolution, he allowed his colleague Jordan to be defeated, betrayed all his plans to the enemy and took part in organizing a conspiracy for the return and crowning of Louis XVIII as King of France. The plans were suspected, and, when he offered his resignation to the Directory in October 1795, it promptly accepted. He retired in disgrace, but secured his election to the Council of 500 in May 1797 as a leader of the Royalists. Coup attempts and death Picagru planned a coup d'acute TAT known as the Coup of 18 Fructidor, but he was arrested and with 14 others was deported to K.N. French Guiana in 1797. He and seven others escaped and fled to Paramaribo. The governor de Friderici allowed them to get on board on a ship to the United States. Shortly thereafter, he went to London where he joined thousands of Frenchmen that had left France in a mass movement, the French emigration. In an effort to save themselves from the violence of the French Revolution, there he served on General Alexander Rimsky Korsakov's staff in the campaign of 1799. He went to Paris in August 1803 with Georges Cadoudal to head a royalist uprising against the first consul, Napoleon Bonaparte. Betrayed by a friend, Picagru was arrested on 28 February 1804 and was later found strangled in prison. The government reported that he had committed suicide, but the report was widely thought to be false.